So before we begin the second part of our lecture, I had a few requests on what I should make a video next. The most requests I had is on how to use the Paris Chemical Engineers Handbook and to give them refreshers before they enter the actual board exam review. So here it is. Enjoy! So welcome back to the second part of the chemical engineering calculations a lesson about dimensional analysis and um, let's get right into it. Okay, so this is the second part of our lesson which is about the conversion of uh, of the conversion of limits so we are now in the conversion of limits so now we will learn how to convert back to uh go to si from si to english and then english to si so not those types of conversions okay so so what we will be using is not uh, our book but the book that um is our best friend so we have this type of uh back in second year i think we have this shirt that in paris we trust in paris we trust and then also in uh when, when i was in fifth year the jpjx you had a branding of uh they introduced perry the fox okay perry the, perry the fox because it presents the cleverness the slyness of it uh, it's expected of us chemical engineers, but uh, the Paris Chemical Engineers Handbook in college failed me actually. So I can remember from my post. So this is back in third year. So when the book that he trusts uh, so much fails you, <laughs> I have I have so much respect in this book, but I don't know how to use it. So that's uh, the essence of that post in back in. July and then much earlier it was uh, I think <clears throat> it was in our midterm exam that I really don't know how to use the Paris uh, handbook but, and I failed in that exam <laughs> sadly so uh, <clears throat> if really no if, uh, if, uh, if this was this is really considered as a Bible object because we have uh, all our most of the information that we need there and it's really heavy uh, so grabi kabugat so really heavy nasa untay spirit so i was drawing that if the paris was a bible so might be there will be a spirit that uh, will reside in my brain so that i will understand what it says and how to use it. So, chat 22 is uh, chemical engineering thermodynamics, and I think it's your chat 29 now. Uh, I don't really know. So, uh, if you are looking to, if you are planning to buy a Paris Chemical Engineers Handbook, I suggest the uh, eighth edition. Okay. So, for in the, in the board exam, uh, you can use up to sixth edition so for the earliest you can use the sixth edition uh, up to the ninth edition actually but i ad advise against buying the uh, ninth edition because there are a lot of tables that are removed and it's not much uh i don't know i don't have a copy of it but when we, it was presented to us the a lot of uh, tables were removed from the 8th edition to the 9th edition and actually the most ideal uh, edition of Paris uh, that uh, will be used I think I think uh, because it was uh, told to us but it was advice also to us uh, from our teachers the 7th edition but you can't buy a hard copy of seventh edition anymore because this also it is already phased out. So your best, uh, uh, your best shot <laughs> in, the, uh, in the exams and the board exam is the eighth edition. Okay, but there are uh, e copies of 
a seventh edition you can find. But I suggest you will use the eighth edition. Okay. So tables to be used in the eighth edition because uh, it's uh, it's also the edition that I'm using. It's a table one point six, uh, table one point uh, one dash nine, and table one dash ten. Okay. So let's get right into the sample problems. So we have to convert the following units. Okay. So five horsepower. So this is horsepower. British horsepower to foot pound force. Foot pound force per minute. In the Paris, it just have uh, foot pound force. Per it only puts there foot pound per minute. And then seventy winches Winchester bushel to cubic meters and uh, eight point three one four joules per minute K to PSI, uh, PSI for uh, cubic feet per pound mole degree runtime. Okay, so how do we solve that uh, using our Paris? Okay, so from the uh, tables that I have presented you earlier, uh, this is how you can use or uh, how can you use them to answer these questions. Okay, so. For table 1-6, we have the alphabetical listing of common conversions. So you can find there uh, the directions on how to use it. So for example, uh, to convert um, horsepower British to foot pounds per minute, you have to multiply your um, the given value to you or the problem to by the uh, value that is given in the Paris, for example, you have to multiply 5 HP by 33,000. So just a uh, plug and play. So 5 times 33,000. So you will get uh, 165,000 foot uh, pounds per minute. Okay, so that it's really that easy. Next, the 70 Winchester bushel. Okay, so you can find it in table 1-10, the United States United States customary system of weights and measures. So it gives you the 2150.42 cubic inches. But I also found a, a value that is similar to this in table 1-6, which is the bushels uh, US dry to cubic meters, you just have to multiply it by 0 0.3524. So let's multiply that. Uh, 5, 2, 4. So you will get uh, 2.47 cubic meters. Okay, it's that, it's that easy to you use your Paris. Okay. And then for the last part, if you can recognize this, what is this? It is the universal gas constant R. Okay. So we have also universal gas constants R in R Paris. So it is found in uh, table 1-9. So values of the gas law constant. So you can find there uh, the exact value of it. 0.314 joules per mole okay. so just uh, if you convert this to PSI cubic per pound mole degrees run kind uh, it's, uh, it's just simple as uh, 10.73 oh, let's copy the units okay so it's that simple so let's move on. So uh, we have a uh, I have a problem solving also here so that it will not be um, as as boring as that. So for for uh, to, you, to give you a little challenge, so we'll solve your problem. So it says here a technical publication describes a new model of twenty. Horsepower Sterling air cycle engine that drives 68 kilowatt genera generator. Is this possible? So we are asked if this 
20 HP here is equivalent to the 68 kilowatt generator. So if it can run the uh, 68 kilowatt generator, so if it can supply. So we, we know that uh, the 20 HP sterling, so that uh, that is its input. So can it give an output of uh, 68 kilowatts? Okay. So we have for us to know that we have to convert. Okay. So we have to convert 20 HP to 60, uh, uh, to kilowatts or vice versa. Okay. So uh, to for simply uh, for simply application purposes, so I'll choose 20 uh, horsepower. So you can find it in your Paris. So table one dash six also. So uh, to multiply to convert HP to kilowatts or to watt, 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 you have to multiply it by 745.7. Okay, so uh, you will get the 14,914 watts. So if you convert that to kilowatts, you will get 14.9. Kilo, just divide it by 1000 so as you can see it's really not capable of uh it's not possible for this air cycle engine or sterling engine to drive this uh 68 kilowatts generator because it's so lacking in power okay even at 100 percent capacity it cannot uh, uh supply this amount of power okay and for the last problem, so a tractor pulls a load of force equal to 800 pounds or 4 kN with a velocity of 100 feet per minute or 1.5 meters per second. So what is the power required using the given American engineering system data and the SI data? So we will uh, solve this problem. Uh, the, the formula for the power here is power is equal to V force times the volume. Okay, force times the volume. So for the American engineering system, so we have the 800 pounds and then the 300 feet per minute. Okay, so we'll just have to multiply it. So 800 LB. That's force, right? So then multiply that by the velocity. I have uh, say volume. Uh, velocity. <laughs> I think velocity. Force times the velocity. Force times velocity. Okay. So 300 feet per minute. Force times the velocity. And then to convert that to uh, the American engineering system. Of power which is your uh, horsepower you have to use uh, table 1-6 again okay so HP HP so we have 33,000 um, horsepower mm. okay so we have the answer 7 point 27 for the SI the same uh, 4000 newtons what well, uh, it's Four top four kilometers, so it's four thousand newtons times the one point five meters per second. So if you multiply this, you you get six thousand newton meter per second. So if you uh, if you remember, I have shown you early, uh, the, in the previous video the drive unit so this uh, newton meter is 
uh, also equivalent to joules so 6000 joules per second and joules per second uh, i have it in the uh, practice problems that i have uh, 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 let you answer so it's equal to 6000 watts or uh, 6 kilowatts so, okay so that's it and i will leave you also a practice problem for you to answer so all this okay so if uh if you have want to try your conversion uh, skills then try solving these okay and then if you uh if you want to check your answers uh, then consult with me okay so that's it that's just the end of our second lesson and come back for the third lesson okay so thank you